Hello everyone. So last December we made some LED Christmas tree lights using these four pin RGB LEDs where there are three pins to control the color and one pin to either be positive or ground depending on if they're common cathode or common anode. So this year I wanted to make some more Christmas lights but I want to make some for the front of the house. So we're going to make a bigger string and instead of using these four pin common cathode or common anode LEDs, we are going to be using these much bigger NeoPixel clone LEDs from AliExpress. As you can see, the 8mm LED here is much bigger than the 5mm LED that we used last year, so this year I shouldn't have to put on a ping pong ball as a diffuser. This should work just fine by itself. So as I mentioned, these are NeoPixel clones. They're clones of the Adafruit through hole 8mm NeoPixels and the big benefit to that is that we'll be able to use the Adafruit NeoPixel library in order to control this. So we'll be able to do some more interesting effects and colors than we could with the previous set because that previous set just used basic on off patterns. So to go along with these NeoPixels what I've done is I got some circuit boards made here. So this is just a very simple circuit board. It has a positive side, a negative side, and then the data pins. And it's the same on the top and the bottom. And because these are NeoPixel clones, essentially you have two pins for power and then a data in pin and a data out pin. Without anything to control them, it just lights up blue. So you can just use a CR2032 to light it up to check it out and only the blue light will light and that's because it's not receiving a data signal to tell it what color it's supposed to be. So essentially we're going to put a bunch of these onto these little circuit boards and then we're going to connect them together with this three conductor wire. Now the big reason that I wanted to go with the NeoPixels is that I only need three conductor wire which saves soldering one extra wire per LED. And ideally we'll have a bunch of chains like this where they are all connected in a line. Now in order to drive these we are going to need an Arduino, but a regular Arduino doesn't quite have the current capabilities required for this. So we're going to be assembling another one of these Canaduinos because it has a separate 5 volt regulator and that 5 volt regulator can put out 1.1 amp. So the 1.1 amps from this Arduino should be more than enough considering that each of these NeoPixels only draws a maximum of 20 milliamps which should give us about 960 milliamps of current draw with all 48 LEDs. So now we're going to take one of these wires and we are going to connect it to one of these little circuit boards. And once these are all soldered, what I've got is some silicone conformal coating that we'll be putting on all of the connections and everything so that these don't hopefully corrode outside on the house. For now, I'm going to go through and make up a bunch of more of these and then we're going to connect them together and solder on the LEDs. And I think for that, I will just do a time lapse using my webcam that I have set up.
Okay, so here are the finished Christmas lights. You can see that we have the NeoPixel clones here attached to the PCBs. They're all soldered in place and then they have the three connector wire going between them. The green wire is the data wire, the red wire is positive of course, and the black wire is negative. In total we have 48 LEDs here and 24 feet of cable. Now the Arduino is the Canaduino that I assembled. I was going to include video of assembling it, but it didn't turn out very well, so I skipped that. But this is my new Canaduino that I just bought for this project. We're using this just because it has a higher output on the 5 volt rail than a regular Arduino does, and it can handle the current through all of these LEDs much better. We're using the Adafruit NeoPixel library for this. We're using the strand test with some modifications to the timings of some of the effects. And we have the Arduino connected to the LED string through this data pin here. It has a 466 ohm resistor in line. That's just to make sure you don't end up sending too much current into the first LED and burning out its data chip. Then we have the power coming in and the ground coming in. And right now it's just temporarily hooked up with some bent over wires that are working just fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the lights and then we'll see how these look. So now it's super dark in here, which makes this a little bit more challenging. Now there's a bit of flicker on the camera here that I'm seeing, but in real life these aren't actually all that flickery. There are certain times when you can see a bit of a flicker, but it actually works really well for Christmas lights because it gives that kind of twinkling effect. But this is the bit that I actually changed. It was strobing super fast, so I ended up slowing down the strobe a bit just to make it so that this isn't as uh, nauseating. And then we've got these ones. Basically I slowed down all of the sketch stuff. Essentially we've got addressable RGB Christmas lighting for the house. These NeoPixels were super easy to work with. You don't have to use little PCBs to solder them to and you can of course get strands that are pre-made with NeoPixels and everything. This was just more fun and more of an interesting project for myself. All in all, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video that's mostly just a time lapse. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below, or you can email them to me or tweet them to me. If you haven't already, then subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. I also do technology videos, mostly computer-based. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.